So if we take a nitro snap with the fulminate in it, you can see that it blows up. Um, if you've played with these things, you might know that what they contain is a little bit of gravel, and the gravel is coated with a very, very small amount of silver fulminate, and then they're packed in a bag full of sawdust to keep them from banging into each other too much. Anybody like to play with these things? Yeah, all right, fess up. I like to get a case or two of them and, and give them to my kids at 4th of July time. But that's a very small amount of the stuff. Now let's take the proverbial not quite 10 foot pole here. And we'll check the thermal stability of cyanates versus fulminates. And remember, this was the first example of isomers. And it took a while in the early 19th century before Lewis structures or even full understanding of atomic weights to figure out what was going on. So here's the uh, cyanate. Let's see what that does when I heat it up. It's blackening a little bit. We're getting some soot. That's pretty boring. <laughs> you guys are like really bold, huh? Well, that's not doing very much, is it? Let's try setting fire directly to the top of it. Do we dare? Now, Christina, in the second row, has not been paying a lot of attention because this is the saver. Alright, so the stabler, well, that doesn't really do very much, right? Let's try the less stable one. And now you might want to follow Christina's example. Okay, now, can you make a connection between the relative stability and the quality of the Lewis dot structures? Perhaps you can. Okay? You notice that the cyanate did not do anything of the sort. This is pretty good. Okay. 